Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kid Rodan, and today for my Disney movie marathon, I'll talk about the movies and such. So yeah, this is what I'll be talking about. I just thought, yeah, one of their older titles, I guess you can say, I'll be speaking about. So why not? I'm supposed to be talking about this kind of stuff anyway. Yes, yeah, it involves music and whatnot, obviously, so... Yeah, I just figured, I guess it wouldn't hurt nobody. Why not? So, whatever, here we are, obviously. So, of course, as usual, let's talk about the plot. Or plots, whatever. Yeah, but the thing is that this is like a compilation kind of a thing. Yeah, you can say it's, it's a movie, I guess, sure. But it's pretty much made of uh, seven uh, segments to a popular music, of course. Uh, folk music, of course. Uh, like, uh, sort of type of music, of course. Like the Fantasia movies, that they did, of course. It's kind of like that in that regard, in some, uh, in some ex uh, extent, I guess you can say. And, um, the, uh, there's one, uh, there's this, uh, pretty much, there's con a collection of stuff, of course. There's, and, of course, Donald Duck is in here, of course. There's one called Once Upon a Winter, yeah, Winter Time, I believe, yeah. So it's called this segment features some sort of singing the title song about two romantic lovers on this winter day in summer. And then um another one uh Bubba Boogie, if I'm pronouncing that right, this segment has this some sort of uh uh some sort of battle for some sort of uh, bumblebees, I guess you would say, as uh Bumblebee, yeah, this one character as he tries to ward off this um this kind of uh, weird stuff I guess you can saw this musical frenzy I suppose. And then there was the legend of Johnny Appleseed. And probably was telling the own version of this character who spent most of his time in his life roaming this area in the United States and this uh little foot which is supposed to be little toot, I mean that's pretty much since around this little toot here. Uh, in which uh, the title character, a uh, small tugboat in New York City, wanted to be just like his father, Big Toot. Okay, and then um, there was a uh, three. There's another segment here. It was supposed to be based on a, on a form, I believe, kind of thing going on. It features music and uh, whatnot. So yeah, the lyrical setting accompanies animation. Of course, with these scenes seen through. He changing the seasons and whatnot. So, and then there was, so yeah, there's that going on. Then there was the other one called Blame It on the Sambler, uh, which is uh, just Donald Duck, of course. And this other character meeting up with this, uh, this uh, bird who introduces them to the uh, pleasures of this place and whatnot. So, of course, there's going to be uh, music attached to it, of course. And there's also these uh, Dining Sisters as well that provide... Uh, vocals and whatnot for this music of course for the you know, live action road i believe and they had to do like some sort of combination kind of thing going on uh so yeah those uh the, the final one uh but uh the final one there's like one more segment going on here folks of course the final one being that's called bill i believe and yeah i've seen this i've seen this this entire thing before. So, yeah, this is uh, Bill and his cowgirl and whatnot. So, yeah, with whom he falls in love with at first sight. Until there's like this jealous widow Mako that gets involved somehow, of course, and whatnot. So, yeah. So, this is definitely a thing, I guess you can say. It's, um, yeah, it's, I thought it was pretty good. So, can't really complain too much, really, like at all. I'd say it's worth. A view, of course. Yeah, if you want to see some of the vintage style Disney. Oh yeah, this definitely gives the we call it yeah vintage kind of feel and whatnot. Yeah, it definitely displays in the animation style from a certain era of Disney. And yeah, to some, to some extent, I, I can say that I do kind of miss it. It's kind of a uh, animation style, I suppose. But, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. So, whatever, I suppose. Yeah, I do like this kind of stuff. Like, looking back on the studio's history. Trying to find some of the older stuff. 
which yes, I feel like I, I should be getting more into, obviously. But yeah, I did think that this was definitely something I wanted to talk about because it's old Disney. I, I've talked about old films anyway uh, before, so uh, I didn't mind this really, like, at, at all. So yeah, folks, I did think this was definitely something I can say that it's worth a watch, that's for sure. Especially if you're somebody that's into Disney from way long ago. So yeah, the music is pretty good here, folks. I like the music and, and whatnot. So all together, it was, it, was pretty, it was pretty good. I can say I did like this, of course. So all in all, I can say that Disney, Walt Disney himself did a pretty good job with this. It's a good example of what animation can do, obviously. So that's definitely a good thing there. I like the character designs. I like the... Animation it goes on long, pretty smooth. So, in regards of that, I don't really have anything to complain about. Not really. I like the colors. Of course, the colors are really nice. And yes, it's like an anthology kind of a thing because all of these has their own thing going on, I suppose. Yeah, I've spoken about movies like this before, previously in other videos. So, it's fine. It doesn't really bother me. But anyway. Yada 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 blah blah. I can say I, I liked. It. That's what I'm getting at. So I'll give this an overall rating of a seven point one out of ten. It gets a seven point one out of ten for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later. They don't make them like they used to. That's for sure.